In the next section, we'll add some simple functionality to the main menu. In order to do that, we need to load the Click Components template file. Press File in the top menu and select Open. Browse to the resources slash click slash components directory in your GFX installation and load the file clickcomponents.fla. Once the file is loaded, open the library panel if it isn't already. Right click on the label component, then select copy from the library panel. Return to the original working flaw. Select frame 1 of the scene layer, right click in the library pane and choose paste to paste a copy of the label component into the working document. If the label isn't already on stage, as it is here, click on the label in the library panel and drag a copy onto the stage. Line the label up so that it is approximately top middle of the stage. Open the Component Inspector tab. You can do this by pressing Shift F7 on your keyboard. With the label selected, the Component Inspector should display three parameters, Disabled, text and visible. Click on the text parameter and type main menu. This is what will display at runtime. Now select frame 10 of the scene layer. Drag another label from the library panel onto the stage and place it in the same basic position. With the label selected, Type Options into the text field of the Component Inspector. Select frame 1 of the scene layer again. Go back to the Click Components FLA file. Right click on the Button component in the Library panel and select Copy. Return to the working FLA file. Ensure frame 1 of the scene layer is selected and then right click on the library panel to paste the button component into this document. If the button wasn't already pasted onto the stage as it is here, drag a copy of it there now. Line the button up under the label. Give the button an instance name of Options Button. This can be done on the Properties panel. This instance name will be referenced by ActionScript to add functionality to the button. Select the label parameter of the button in the Component Inspector and type Options. Again, this will be displayed at runtime. Test the movie by using the Scaleform Launcher. If you haven't already set the launcher panel up, please refer to the Getting Started with GFX document on how to do this. While the main menu label and button are visible, the button doesn't do anything yet. We'll add that functionality next.